I'm talking today to Derry Dadzi, who is the CEO of Dreamoval, which is a software development company in Ghana. Derry, tell me what the company does. Um, Dreamoval develops internet and mobile software solutions, and um, we have project or product um, in different sectors or for different purposes. Um, we have product for banking, which is our mobile banking platform where um, bank customers are able to get transaction notification for banking transactions and where also um, bank customers can be anywhere um, in Ghana and, and conduct uh, or transact um, their daily um, banking activities uh, like check their balance, like um, stop checks, uh, like a transfer money from one account to the other uh, plus uh, uh, many other several uh, benefits to the bank and I'm looking at um, local accessibility. Um, this offers um, the banking customers an opportunity to, to engage in other things, whilst um, at the same time being able to um, deal with issues concerning their their bank account. Uh, we also have um, a, um, a product or a project that we we, we did with the Grammy Foundation, that was sponsored by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, um, in the area of mobile health called Motec, and what uh, Motec um, is supposed to do is to reduce maternal mortality in rural Africa, which is a, um, a canker because a lot of people are dying, a lot of women are dying from um, childbirth. And Motec um, is, a, is, a, is mobile technology um, that enables um, um, pregnant women gain access to maternal information or antenatal and prenatal information concern, concerning um, their, their pregnancy or mm. concerning the babies that they're giving birth to. And the whole idea is to enable um, maternal mother or pregnant women in rural mm. communities in Africa and starting from Ghana to be able to have access to health facilities. You know, in rural Africa, it's very challenging to have the electricity, mm. it's very challenging to have the running water, it's very challenging to put up any kind of infrastructure. So mm. having access to uh, mobile um, information enables them gain real-time access to um, the, um, how, for example, how, what, what medication they should take at a certain stage um, in their pregnancy. And um, th this for me um, really helps in, how do you call it, first of all, information dissemination, helps also to reduce um, mothers from dying, um, and also um, helps actually the nurses know um, what patient is doing what at any point in time, you know. Um, we also have another product um, that we currently started working on. That is Coco Link. Um, that is supposed to help um, Coco communities in Ghana um, improve their productivity and also disseminate um, social information on health, um, on child labour, on best practices. And I, I believe that, like in technology, where we are looking at performance, um, this is also key in also um, boosting um, productivity in the, the cocoa center for these uh, rural communities. Um, you know, these people have to send their kids to school, they have to also give them the, the best of anything that the urban, um, urban citizens um, get. Um, so a project like Cocoa Link um, is very, very important, um, where um, if the farmers can do more uh, with the little they have. Because currently, as a farmer can have um, a nine acre land and will be producing mm -hmm. so less. But a, a product like um, Coco Link, providing all the needed information, will enable the farmer actually do more with the, the silo. To be more productive. To be more productive. Yeah. And can then, I take yeah. you back to the financial software? Yeah. Is this software for banks? Yeah. Yeah. So, which banks are you working with? Uh, we work with Agricultural Development Bank okay. uh, in Ghana. We work with Fidelity Bank in Ghana. And they work with Car Bank in okay. Ghana. Yeah. And is the software handset dependent? In other words, do you have to have a feature-rich phone, or do you have to? Is it work on? Will work on? Uh, it, it's able to work on any kind of phone, um, okay. but it, it mostly will work with phones that have, have MIP2 yeah. uh, or MIP2.1 um, yeah. or any Java enabled yeah. phone. But it's also able to use a text messaging component of any phone to access the same um, or banking information. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and you were talking too about developing a payment system of some, some yeah. kind. Tell us, tell us about how that's going to work. Oh, so our payment system is called iWallet. Yeah. Uh, what iWallet enables you to do is make payments over the internet. Um, so we, we target in retail shops, 
we, we, we targeting any person that has any kind of service that is that is accessible um, over the internet. Uh, so th um, that is what um, iWallet is able to do. And it, it, um, what, what you need to do when you have iWallet is we, we work in one of the telcos. Uh, we, we already run the mobile money product and uh, we integrating with them to be able to enable even those at the grassroots to have access to internet payment. And we are hoping that uh, we are, will be able to revolutionize e-commerce in our part of the world because there's this um, mystery um, about um, online activity, security, um, fraud, and we, I believe strongly that um, we need local players to be able to break uh, that jinx, to be able to set um, uh, and blaze a trail so that mm. um, others can follow. Um, yeah. So, so effectively, people will be able to order online from the merchants. Yeah, and it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a total package. I will let um, um, people can order online for any kind of good, for books, for clothes, for grocery, um, and then there's that delivery aspect of, of, the, of the whole thing. So we are also creating opportunities for delivery companies to have now closely work with retail companies. Mm -hmm. uh, we are creating opportunities for the financial institutions um, to be able to also come on board our platform, let people access their bank account directly to be able to make payment online. Because I know a lot of the time these financial institutions are, are scared to act, um, to open up their, mm. their, their banking system to um, to customers, I mean beyond the banking halls. So we are what we're able to do is that we are able to provide that layer where you can connect through us and then we provide that level of security so that others can access their bank account through us and then use our platform to make any kind of payment over the internet. Derry, thanks for talking to me oh, today. You're always welcome. Thank you.